So I'm going to try to make this uh, a slightly quicker presentation. <laughs> so uh, my name is Magnus Jern. I'm originally a software engineer. So I've been developing almost since birth. Uh, and that's what I did at university as well. Worked at wor one of the first web development companies, uh, later at Vodafone and some other places. And one of the worst things at working at a big company like Vodafone at the time was that anything that we wanted to do, to do took at least one and a half year from an idea to getting it out there. Uh, and that's actually the main reason that we set up Golden Gecko about seven years ago. It's because I love creating services that people actually use, rather than just creating PowerPoint presentations and concepts that they might get to market one day, but uh, they won't actually get used. So today we're, we're a team of about 200 people, a little bit more, um, with the, I would say, the the main center is here in Barcelona. We have a fantastic user experience design here. We have developers, project managers, uh, business developers, and so on. And I think Barcelona is one of the best places in the world that I can imagine for having creative teams working in the mobile space. So super excited about that. And we're about 20 nationalities, which just also shows how, um, how great it is to attract uh, international people here. Uh, but we also have offices in New York, London, uh, San Francisco and elsewhere. Uh, and over the last seven years, we've had the luxury of working with some amazing brands across the world, uh, including here locally, we've been working with Mango, with Desigual, with Vodafone, MTG, but we've also been working uh, with the likes of Coca-Cola and O2 and, and others. Um, and I think one of the reasons uh, for that is that we've been focused on trying to find uh, or developing apps that people will actually use. So when people come to us with an idea and say, OK, we want to, Magnus, we want to do an app, and this is what we want to do, if we think that it's a stupid idea, we tell them, which is not always popular. Uh, and the process that we go through is very simple. So we start with uh, like the service concept. Uh, so normally, they have some kind of idea what they want to do. But other times, the brand comes to us and says, we want to do something mobile. We want to create a new service. And then we work together on finding out what that service is. Then obviously we create the user experience design, we develop it, uh, so we have a team of uh, over 120 developers. Uh, then testing is extremely important, both user testing and the quality testing to make sure that it works across all the devices and so on. And then obviously marketing it, because if you don't mention it to anyone, then nobody will ever download it. And then finally, keeping it going and keeping improving it and taking that data and the analytics, all the business intelligence that you get from the users and constantly improving it. And I think one of, the, one of the questions that people always ask me is, so Magnus, what makes a great mobile app? And we think that there are four things that are the most important. One is user experience. So it's making sure that you get a use case in there. And it only needs to be one, which like, if you take Uber, it's I want the car now to pick me up and take me somewhere. That's the one use case. And usually, the simplest apps are the best, actually. Uh, another part of it is. Uh, is that it has to have a utility or an entertainment part. So it has to have the utility of either the car that picks me up and takes me somewhere, or something that makes me laugh for 10, 10 seconds, or like Flappy Bird. Nobody would expect that to be a super hit, but it was. And then the two things supporting that is uh, interactivity and social. So that's uh, basically that it engages me. It's something that I want to share with friends. It's something that I want to share online, or. Um, yeah, that makes, makes it social. And finally, performance, which is typically, it needs to work. It can't, be, it can't crash the first time I open it. It can't be too slow. It needs to be instant. And if you get these four things right, most of the time, that actually means success. We haven't seen that many that don't get it right that are non-successful. And then obviously, once you have these components, then you need to execute on them properly. And the, so the first thing that we normally do when we go through this process is really try to understand what are the, what are the use cases that you can do. And we did this, for example, with H&M a couple of years ago, where they came up together with us with 250 things that we could do in a mobile app. Did we implement all of those 250? No. <laughs> I don't think that would have been very good. So we actually concluded that the main things that people wanted to do was that uh, it was things like, I'm in the store, but I can't find uh, the piece of clothing that I want in my size. So that was actually one of the ma main use cases. We took the top five and implemented those first. And then we left the other 250 until later. And that is a key part of this as well. 
And then the other thing is that user experience design is not, it's not just designing something and then giving it to the developer and then they develop it. It's an extremely iterative process, so you need to make sure that you get the users involved in every step of it. We actually prefer uh, to have even the users involved during the development, so ideally they're almost sitting next to the developer so that when the developer has a question, is this going to work for you, then the person can answer it, ah, I'm not sure. So for example, we're doing a project now for senior citizens, so for older people in the society, and then we, we have user focus groups of people that are around 65 to 75, and they're giving the feedback every day on what we're doing. Prototyping is key, of that, key to that as well, because it's difficult to look at a, uh, just looking at a design doesn't say that much actually for most people. It's when you start touching it, it's when it's on the mobile device, it's when you can move things around, and that's when you see how people, if people like it, if they don't like it. A lot of the time you will see that you thought it was great to have a swipe experience somewhere, but when the user gets it, they don't understand that at all. They're looking at it completely different. So getting that into, into it is, is also extremely important. And uh, that was my quick summary. So I actually managed to do it in five minutes, which means that you get more time for questions later, which I like. Thank you.